Hi guys, Saloni this side and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to share an interview experience of a candidate who applied for the role of systems engineer for the package of 3.6 lakh per annum. And the candidate is from 2022 batch. And guys, the candidate here don't want to reveal his name. That's why I can't tell you his name. So now let's see what were the interview questions interviewer asked him. So the first question interviewer asked him was show your ID proof. So in ID proof, you can use your Aadhaar card or college ID or any government ID proof. And after that, the interviewer asked him, tell me something about yourself and your family. So guys, I have discussed the answer of this question many times in my previous videos. So you can check out those videos and the video link is in the description box. And after this, the interviewer asked him some questions related to the project. So here are some questions that you can prepare related to the project. So the interviewer may ask you what was your project and what were the difficulty you faced during the project or he can ask you how did you resolve the issue in the project or how did you resolve the conflict between the team members. So you can prepare the answer of these questions and if you want to know the answer of this question then you can also check out my previous videos. So after this the interviewer asked him what is abstraction. So to answer this question you can use these points. So you can say like abstraction is the process of hiding the internal details of an application from the outer world and it is used to create a boundary between the application and the client programs. Like in object oriented programming objects are its building blocks and an object contains some properties and methods. So we can hide them from the outer world through the access modifier. We can provide access only for the required functions and properties to the other programs. And in Java, we can achieve the abstraction through the interface and abstract classes. So in this way, you can answer this question. So after that, the interviewer asked him explain interface. So to answer this question, you can say the interface in Java is a mechanism to achieve abstraction. And interface is also a blueprint of class, which has a static, final and abstract methods. And in interface, there can be only abstract methods, not the method body. And it is used to achieve abstraction and multiple inheritance in Java. And Java interface also represents the is a relationship. So the example of interface is comparator interface. And here you can see the syntax to define the interface. And then after his answer, the next question interviewer asked him, what is the difference between abstract class and the interface? So here are some differences between abstract class and the interface, which you can use in answer of this question. So you can say abstract class have abstract and non abstract methods, while interface can have only abstract methods. And the abstract class doesn't support the multiple inheritance while with the help of interface we can achieve the multiple inheritance. So in this way you can mention three or four points. And after this the interviewer asked him what is multiple inheritance in Java. So in answer of this question you can say multiple inheritance in Java is the capability of creating a single class with the multiple super classes. But Java doesn't support multiple inheritance in classes because it can lead to diamond problem. So to achieve the multiple inheritance in Java, we must use the interface. So this is how you can answer this question. After his answer, the interviewer asked him, what are the CRUD operation you have used in your project? So guys, its answer is dependent on your project. So before any interview, please prepare your project very well because the interviewer can ask you many questions based on your project. So after his answer, the next question interviewer asked him was some SQL queries. So guys, I have already created these two videos from where you will get the top SQL queries for your interview preparation. So here I would request you to watch these videos and the video link is in the description box. And after that, the interviewer asked him to write a code to check that the given strings are anagram or not. So guys, this is the Java method to check the anagram strings. So here you can pause the screen to check out the solution. And after this, the next question interviewer asked him, what is deadlock situation in operating system? So to answer this question, you can say a process in operating system basically uses resources in the three ways. So firstly, the process requests a resource and then it uses the resource. After that, the process releases it. So a deadlock is a situation 
where each of the computer process waits for a resource which is being assigned to some another process so in this situation none of the process gets executed since the resource it needs is held by some another process which is also waiting for some other resource to be released so this complete situation is called the deadlock in operating system so this is how you can answer this question and after this the interviewer asked him what is osi model so guys osi stands for open system interconnection which is a reference model which provides a standard for different computer system to be able to communicate with each other over a network and an osi consists of seven layers and each layer performs a particular network function so these are the seven layers of osi model which you should mention in answer of this question so after that the interviewer asked him what are transport layer and network layer functions and protocols so guys in transport layer we have tcp and udp protocols and its function are service point addressing connection control flow control and so on while in network layer we have ipv4 ipv6 protocol or icmp protocol and its function are internetworking addressing routing and so on so in this way you can answer this question and in last the interviewer asked him what is a spiral model so guys in answer of this question you can say spiral model is a risk driven software development process model and it is a combination of waterfall model and iterative model and using the spiral model the software is developed in a series of incremental releases and in this model there are specific activities that are done in one iteration where the output is a small prototype of the large software and the same activities are then repeated for all the spirals until the entire software is built and this spiral model is favored for large expensive and complicated projects and after this you can mention some advantages and disadvantages of a spiral model so guys that's all about this video i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching